So what we have here is the Walmax shopping cart. It is the smaller version. We get a folding grocery shop with an extra basket. The extra basket is this back portion here. And from the diagram, it looks like we can fold it up for easy storage. And it's got swivel wheels for easy maneuverability. So we go ahead and crack this open. But as you can see from the instructions, it's really easy to assemble. What it uses is a push mechanism to secure the wheels uh, for both the front wheels and the rear wheels. No kind of tools necessary. So let's go ahead and unfold this cart and get these wheels installed. And go ahead and unfold this and get the wheels installed. So for the front wheels, what you'll literally do is it secures with this mechanism. So all you gotta do is push it in until you hear it click and it's good to go. We'll do that for the other wheel. Just push it in until there's a click and we're good to go. So for the axle, uh, it's a similar thing. It's a push mechanism that secures it. So we'll just go ahead and insert it on one end until you hear it click and make sure that you align the axle um, uh, sides with the actual holes in the cart. As you can see, there's two indentations. You want to make sure those are aligned with the grooves in the axle so that it goes through properly. Now that we've got it through, we can go ahead and insert the other wheel until you hear it click. And we are good to go. The smaller cart fully assembled now. Um, the metal is pretty sturdy. As you can see, there's really, really little flex here. The bars themselves are also sturdy. The guiding points are sturdy where it's connected to the handles. So when you're not using this cart, you can fold it up. And as long as you make sure the wheels are pointing forward, they'll be at a really slim size and you can use this clip here to secure onto the metal and that'll hold it in place as you store it. You can see the wheels are super smooth. The bearings are good on the wheels.